safety, love, home. West Hollywood is the heart of LA. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto accident, you need an experienced professional on your side to make sure you get the compensation you deserve. The law offices of Larry H. Parker have been protecting the rights of accident victims for over 40 years. Now at four, three fans. in today for Pedro. These three cases are part of a series of lawsuits filed by other families who lost loved ones while they were behind bars in Riverside County. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from Riverside with the messages those families are sharing. Shelby. That's right. These are three new lawsuits being filed against the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Those attorneys saying they already have four against the department uh, and all involving inmate deaths. But when we're talking about these three new ones that were announced earlier today, those attorneys tell me that two of the men in separate incidents while in custody at uh, these jails in Riverside County died due to overdoses and a third person died by suicide. Those attorneys say neither of this should have happened under RSO's watch. The families of three men who died while in custody holding photos and joining at the steps of a federal courthouse in downtown Riverside. We're here to announce three additional civil rights lawsuits filed in federal court against the county. The complaints naming Riverside County, its sheriff's department, and even Sheriff Chad Bianco as the defendants, alleging that they failed to protect all three inmates from harm, failed to provide medical care, and for negligence, among other accusations. After all three men in separate incidents died last year while they were inmates at county jails. It seems like if you commit any offense, whether it be a minor offense or any type of offense, you will die in jail. Sarah Solis speaking on behalf of her son, Mario Solis, wants justice. Attorneys for the family say he was arrested last April for a nonviolent offense. They say from then on, he exhibited signs of mental illness. Then in September, he ingested a pencil, a toothbrush, and bags of soap. Dying by suicide in a jail cell where attorneys allege staff did not properly conduct safety checks. What's my definition of a jail? A place that killed my brother before he could turn the age of 21. A place that is unsafe for any individual. Marissa Vasquez speaking on behalf of 20 year old Michael Vasquez, who they say was arrested for burglary before he was found six days later on his bunk, suffering from an apparent overdose. He reached out to the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. A spokesperson says they do not comment on pending litigation. The new lawsuits come after Attorney General Rob Bonta announced in February a civil rights investigation into the department by the DOJ. Our investigation will seek to determine whether the sheriff's office has engaged in a pattern or practice of unconstitutional or unlawful policing. Sheriff Chad Bianco responding to the announcement saying, This investigation is based on nothing but false and misleading statements and straight out lies from activists, including their attorneys. This will prove to be a complete waste of time and resources. Now, in the past, Sheriff Chad Bianco has been very vocal about this, saying that these people choose to do these things while they are in custody. But the families and their attorneys say that's unacceptable, especially when they are under the care of RSO. Now, again, the RSO or Riverside County Sheriff's Department could not comment because of pending litigation. I also reached out to Attorney General Rob Bonta's office to see if they could comment. Uh, they say they could not say anything further just because of the investigation that they announced earlier this year. Reporting live from Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you. A socialite from Hidden Hills appeared in court today in connection with a crash that killed two young brothers. Police say Rebecca Grossman hit and killed brothers 11-year-old Mark and 8-year-old Jacob Iskander while driving drunk. This happened in Westlake Village nearly three years ago. Initially, only Grossman's lawyer showed up to court today, but once they learned of the court order, she arrived at the courthouse. We heard from the mother of the two boys who says she wants justice for her children. It's been a trend, right, of the lack of responsibility and, and just the complete disregard of the two lives that were gone, that were just taken like that. They had so much in front of them, so much in this life.